All right, so as you can see in the title of the video, today I'm going to give you a breakdown of my editing timeline of my YouTube short. You know that I create some short video and I think it is very interesting to create short video because it is short, so it is very fast to edit and also you can get more views and more subscriber and in early 2023, you can get money on it. Okay, so that is regulation of YouTube. By the way, in this video, it is not a detailed tutorial, but uh, I just want to give you an explanation of my editing timeline so that you understand how I make YouTube short and maybe you can apply to your video also. Okay, so for example, here is the folder and I have some short here. And uh, let's take a look at the first one uh, or the latest one. We is, a, a, we is about a special kind of fur in Vietnam, okay? That is stone bowl noodle soup and uh, let's view it don't you know that in vietnam there's a special kind of pho called pho bát đà or stone ball noodle soup it is originated from traditional pho however you will have to cook yourself one set of stone ball noodle soup includes fresh beef vegetable and a stone ball with special soup inside so if you come to vietnam this is a must try local food for you more vietnamese local food will be on my channel don't forget to subscribe all right so this is just 30 second youtube short and uh, let's take a look at my editing timeline so this is my editing timeline by the way when filming i use my dslr and i also film in widescreen video which is in 16 by 9 and i didn't use vertical format because i can easily crop and create a pan and zoom effect for the video later in post or in filmora okay so for example, this is my timeline. So I just turn the preview window to vertical so that you can see it better. And here's the timeline. So first thing on the timeline is my background music. And it is very important to select the background music for your short video. And you can actually get this free and no copyrighted music on YouTube at YouTube library. It is very easy. And for this one, the music is sharp edge with a fast beat music the next track is my voiceover and i use filmora to record my voiceover and inside this voiceover we have a audio ducking feature uh, let's double click at the voiceover so you can see here i have the ducking enable and it is it will lower the volume of other clips by 50 percent so i think 50 percent is okay for my short video okay nothing more and let's click okay and the next one is my main video track so all this video are shot in widescreen format. By the way, I create some pan and zoom effect for my video. Okay, for example, this one, I just want to select this video and then I'm going to select this crop tools. And you see here, this is pan and zoom and the aspect ratio I select here is nine by 16. And then I adjust the start point all the way to the left and then the end point all the way to the right. So by doing that, we can show everything in the frame with a pan and zoom effect and uh, let's preview this one for example we can preview this one you see it is just panning from left to right so it's similar to using the camera and panning left to right so that is for the clip and uh, all other clip i do the same so it's just the same effect and only at this position i have an image of the traditional fur so i want to show everything so uh, so it is in widescreen. So I put the image here on the timeline and then I add a background blur effect right here just to show everything, all the information of the image. And for the transition, I use splash transition with this one. Okay, just go to my download and let me show you the splash. So this is a flash transition effect. I just drag and drop it manually and sometimes I also select all the video here on the timeline and then I can just right click at the transition and then I can click apply and it will apply the same transition to all of my video on the timeline okay and the last one is my subscribe button and also my YouTube channel here you see this is my image and this is the image I just add my image onto the timeline and then I overlay with the title it is 3d sport car bike title number six and I keep only the big text right here to just double click here to preview this one and I just keep the big one 80 is the size and it is the phones okay and nothing more uh, if we click on advanced we don't see anything just the preset video and then the title okay so it's simple right 
Okay, and this track is a 3D subscribe button with green screen background. And if you want to find some 3D green screen background subscribe button, I will put the link in the description. I have about 13 different kind of subscribe button. You can use it for your video also. And they are completely free. Okay, and let's click OK. And I put it right here. And at the end, I have a fade effect for my subscribe button. Okay, and all the transition here. Okay, and all the transition here has a duration of one second. If we want to double click at the transition, you can see here the duration is only one second. And I click apply to all, so it will apply to all the, the transition. Just double click, apply to all. And let's click OK. And all the transition effect will have one second. And finally is the title. So the all the subtitle for my short video. Don't you know that in and actually, I have a custom subtitle for this. So uh, let's go to title and I have custom right here. So I create this one title for short. So all I need to do is to drag and drop it right here and then change the text inside. Also, I want to change the color also. And sometimes, sometimes when I want to, uh, for example, I can hide this one. Sometimes I want to, to make the text bigger. Okay, for example, uh, not this one. Uh, okay, but sometimes uh, when I want to increase the size of the text, all I need to do is to go to advanced and then I create a new text layer here. For example, cook your fur on the table. And if I want to create a big text right here, I just add a new text. So it will have the same format and I can type it right here, big text. And I can increase the size to maybe 100. And 25 and I can also change the color also I can change the gradient to color view and then I can select different color for example I can select a green color and select ok and now I have this one a yellow subtitle and a big text right here and I can select the animation for the text also if I want by the way I just want want the big text to appear right here so we can play one set of stone bones cook your fur on the table with big text so that's easy right so that is everything by the way we need to export the video also so for example i can delete this one if we want to export this video all we need to do is to go to the export tab and keep the project setting by the way you have to set up your project setting correctly or you can go to setting here and then you can select the uh, resolution uh, which is in 1080p 24 frame and the only option you want to do is to the increase the bit rate. For example, I can change it to 20, 20,000 kbps, and then we can click OK, and now we can export the video. And it will be here in my document and Wonder Share, Wonder Share Filmora, and output folder. Okay, so that is a breakdown of my video editing timeline for short video. I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.